this is the third time that this area has been invaded. And last year the same community has invaded, so they are very worried for their crops and for their animals. This morning we spoke to some community that they had to move very far away because uh, the pasture was eaten by the locust, so they were compelled to move and uh, get some pasture for their animals. This is their asset, this is their capital, so at the time they, they sell it to get some grain, and it's also a kind of a protection in, in hard time. This is what they use it to, to, to sell it. If the cattle is dying, then that will be a catastrophic uh, situation where they will not have acid, they will not have milk, they will not have the meat. We are trying to prevent the negative impact on the family livelihood and kids' nutrition. We are now in the Somali region of uh, Ethiopia. We had planned for a significant uh, scale-up in our surveillance and control operation. I'm pleased to see that it is taking place, that we have indeed, in addition to the assets of the government, in addition to the assets of the DLC OEA, uh, we have uh, three uh, helicopters, we have four airplanes on the ground in the air uh, today, fine, during these days, to indeed to at scale uh, surveillance uh, and at scale uh, control operation. This is it's quite uh, reassuring to see that we are there to respond to the, to the expectation of the government of Ethiopia. And as a result, we have protected the, the crops of about 10 million people, will therefore have enough food to feed themselves for one year. And we have protected also the pasture of about 3 million uh, pastoralists, who therefore depend on livestock uh, for their uh, for their livelihood. This is taking place in a country where the level of acute food insecurity is already quite high. So it's very important that whatever threat we can control, in this case the desert locust, we do it and we do it well and it's scale.